The Braves and the Reds on Wednesday night. The games at Turner Field ticking away. Who better than to remove the 47 than number 47 himself, Hall of Famer Tom Glavin. Let's pick it up, bottom three. Braves with a 1-0 lead. The start of a big night for Freddie Freeman. Freddie rips one toward the right field corner. Bruce will have to chase that all the way to the wall. And Freddie Freeman is in at second with a one-out double. Off the end of the bat and over the shortstop, Peraza. That ball bounced first. I don't know if I've seen that one. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen it fair. I've seen it yeah. foul, but, but like I say, when you're going good, just bounce it up here. I'll still get a hit. Yeah. Morris doesn't waste any time. Kind of side saddle and comes to the plate. And it's lined to right center field, tracking it and trying to cut it off, but he can as Bruce. That's going to roll to the wall. Freddie Freeman thinking three. Here he goes to third. The relay late. Freddie Freeman flying around the bases. Hit that bag at second. Lean low like a greyhound at a greyhound park. And in with a pop-up slide for a triple. 6-5. Reds have jumped back in front. Runner goes. Pitch popped into shallow center. NCRT's coming on. He makes a great diving catch. Throw back to first. Double play. Outstanding play and good jump here by Ender on a ball in front of him. Gets to his feet quickly and airmails that one over to Freddie. Freddie Freeman, who only needs a homer and a single to hit for the cycle. Here's the 1-0. In the air, left field, deep going back is Duvall, still going. There's the homer over the left field fence. We got a tie ball game. It's 6-6. Freeman, a double, a triple, a homer, and a pair of strikeouts. So a single away from hitting for the cycle. In the air, right center field. That's down for a base hit. And Freddie Freeman has hit for the cycle. And Freeman wants that baseball for the trophy case, and you can understand that. And now Ogando has to throw a strike, or Cincinnati will get a run. Three balls, two strikes, runners go. Ball four, Cincinnati leads. It's an 8-7 game. And now Tyler Flowers with a knock and possibly drive in both the tying and winning runs. And hits a ground ball, base hit to left. Marquecas in to score, Peterson to third. He will hold there. It's a tie game, eight all. So here's Chase Darno. Base is loaded, nobody out. Fly ball. Deep left center field. That's going to get it done. Darno ends the game with a base hit to center. And the Braves somehow, someway, find a way to beat the Reds. The Braves snap a four-game skid on Chase Darnell's first career walk-off hit, earning a 9-8, 13-inning win. Freddie Freeman becomes the seventh player in Braves history to hit for the cycle, and the first one since Mark Kotzeg in 2008. Freeman also becomes the first player since Mark Ellis in 2007 to get a cycle-clinching hit in extra innings.